Hi guys, this is Amiya from The Seeker. I welcome you to the new episode which is going to talk about um, how to enable or disable, how to automatically schedule the enabling or disabling of a certain SSID. Now a lot of times I've been questioned and I've seen people wondering um, for their guest network, for their guest SSIDs, how can I make sure that with the minimum of manual intervention I can enable or disable a certain SSID. Let's say I have got my guests coming in on certain day at 9 a.m. and at 6 p.m. they want to leave. Now I have got an IT admin guy who has just enabled the SSID at 9 a.m. but forgot to turn it off. How do I avoid such kind of circumstances where I have a certain SSID which has been left off, enabled, people are still connecting to it and you know basically going on and scheduling how how I manage my particular SSID which is only supposed to be for guests right so in this video I'm going to show you how can I schedule a certain SSID right so here is my controller and as you can see I've got three different SSIDs and I'm going to be concentrating on this SSID called FT-SSID and um, I've got a prime infrastructure which I'm going to be using for doing this task. So let's let's look at um, the SSID. It's it's a normal SSID. I've got the security part configured for dot one x. You can have anything as security. Doesn't really matter. You can have an open SSID, PSK, dot one x, or a WebAuth. So it's it's all good. Uh, next part. I'm going to prime infrastructure. First things first. I have to make sure that my controller that I'm looking at that is synced and the synchronization is complete it is showing up as managed it's showing up as reachable right once I've done that I'm going to go into the particular controller and I'm going to look at the WLAN configuration section now here you can see the list of the SSIDs that I've got I'm going to select .11r profile name ft-ssid then I'm going to say schedule status okay now here I have the flexibility and remember this is only for this particular profile you cannot apply this task for any other uh, profile or any other SSID you delete the SSID from the controller or from the prime infrastructure this task is going to be invalid you cannot access or do anything with this task you will have to delete the task and create a new one for the respective SSID. Now let's say I have my current status as disabled. I want to go ahead and enable it, okay? Now before we go there, I just wanna make sure you see this particular part where it says that what's the PI server time? You have to make sure that your PI and your controller are NTP synced, right? Timestamp is very, very important. Otherwise, if there is a time synchronization mismatch, in that case, if the prime tries to push something, but the controller is on a different time zone at a different time, then it's not going to be able to accept that. So we want to make sure that they are both NTP synced, right? Now let's call this enable, right? And um, I'm just gonna go admin status is enabled. Now my current time, it says 15.30 is when I opened it, but at the bottom I see it's seventeen. Uh, 32 so I'm going to schedule it for let's say 17 35 and that's the date today and I don't want any recurrences you can re you can schedule it for daily weekly however you want to schedule it okay I'm gonna go ahead and submit this so that's my enable task that is already scheduled how can I view this you click on this um, link here it will take you to what we have done okay now let me go back because I want to create another task which talks about disabling it as well. I want to show you both. So here I am. Let's go to advanced WLAN configuration. There you are. I'll do schedule status before. Okay. And I want to say enable. Oh, sorry. Disable, okay, disable it, disable it, what, 17, let's say we want to disable it at um, 40, okay, submit. Now, 
if I'm looking at the other tab, how do I get to the list of tasks? Configuration, schedule configuration task, and WLAN configuration. So you see both the tasks that we have created, it's listed here, right? No recurrence is what we chose. And next status, 1735, 1740, okay? So right now it's 1733. So we'll have to wait a couple of minutes before we can see that. And it's 17.35, so you see, last run, right? Schedule comes up as expired because it has already gone past. <clears throat> in here, in my WLAN section, right? Let's just verify, it was disabled, right? I'm just gonna refresh it to see what's happening. Refreshing, and yeah, yeah there you go. It's, it says enabled now, okay? I'm just gonna look at the controller, and it was disabled. Let's refresh it. Ah, there you go, it is enabled, right? Now, I'm gonna wait for this particular task and then see how we can go ahead and set it to disable automatically. I know that I turned it on at 1735 and I've scheduled it to turn it off at 1740. Similarly, you can do that for, and you can set your time. So you just go here and set your time. You wanna turn it on at 9 a.m. You select 9 a.m whichever day you want, whichever recurrence you want, right? You can turn it on that way. And similarly, you can turn it off whenever you want. You wanna turn it off at 1800 hours? Okay, there you go. So you can just do that, right? So you have the flexibility to edit this task as well when you're talking about a certain SSID. But remember, this is only for this SSID. If I delete this SSID from my controller, this particular task is rendered useless, right? So we will just wait and see what happens at 1740. Do I get this last run time at 1740? And I should see my schedule has expired because my task has already executed. And I should see the changes in the admin status. Enabled, I should see it as disabled. And in my controller, this should come up as disabled. Just to show you guys, this is still enabled, right? Nothing has changed. I'm refreshing it there. I'm refreshing it here as well for you. There you go, it's still enabled. So we'll have to wait and see what does this disabled task do for us. So as you can see, I'm, I'm just gonna refresh it again. And 1740, it hasn't reached yet. It's 1739. So we're waiting for 1740 so that we can see the last run, the schedule, and the corresponding changes that take place on the WLAN. Uh, let me just refresh it, nothing yet. Um, any minute now guys, any minute. Okay. <laughs> ah, there you go, it's 1740, let's refresh. It has executed, as you can see. And schedule is expired. Now let's go back to the controller. See, let's refresh it here. Remember, it was disabled. It was enabled, and we are going to disable it, right? So I'm just going to refresh. Uh, it is disabled now, automatic. And similarly here, let's see. We have just refreshed, and voila, it is disabled, right? So that is one way of doing it. Um, now, remember, if you want to change anything, you just have to come back to configuration, schedule configuration tasks, WLAN configuration, and you'll see your schedule task for the respective SSID. Thereafter, you can go ahead and make whatever changes you want to do. And again, if you remove this, this is a useless profile, right? You'll just have to delete it and create a new one for the respective SSID or the respective profile. So yeah, that was the video about um, the guest SSID and how you can reduce the manual intervention, plus kind of go ahead and automate your enabling or disabling of the SSID. So um, thank you so much guys for visiting the channel and uh, looking at the video. And I really appreciate your time. Um, if you really like the video, uh, then please go ahead and like and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much as always. Have a great day.